Hey everybody, welcome back. And so in today's video, I am going to quickly show you guys how you can change your location with a VPN in three simple steps. So if you want to switch your IP or if you're looking to maybe access some websites or services that might not be available in your location, but they will be available in other locations, then what you can do again is use a VPN. So now I'm not in Japan. This is not my IP address. This is the IP address of ExpressVPN's Japanese server. So I'm going to talk about these VPNs in just a minute. But let me just show you guys how you can do it. Now you can actually grab some of the exclusive discounts listed in the description down below. And then you can download and install one of these VPNs and use your credentials to log into the application and it's really super simple. And so once you have the application in front of you, no matter what device you're using, really most of these VPNs are natively compatible with almost every single device that you can think of. So let's just say for example, you want to access American content or maybe you're out of the country and you don't have access to your bank account or the streaming service or maybe a specific server. And so what you can do is just change your IP address by connecting to let's just say the Dallas server. So I'll be using ExpressVPN to demonstrate. And so the moment I'm connected, just to confirm that I am actually in Dallas, virtually speaking at the very least, I'll go ahead and just refresh my page. And as you can see, as far as the internet is concerned, I am now in Dallas, Texas. And so really that's pretty much it and it's super simple. Now I know there are lots of VPNs out there and they can be very confusing as far as to which one could be the best choice for you and your situation. So I'm actually going to talk a little bit about that to help you make a more informed decision. And so I've been testing out some of the most popular VPNs out there and I've narrowed them down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as my top three picks overall. Now, all three VPNs work remarkably well with streaming services. They provide some of the best speeds, they're very easy to use, and they also have the necessary security features, such as a kill switch, split tunneling, and a bunch of protocols. But of course, they still vary in what features they offer and how much they cost. And picking out the best service for you will depend on what you're looking for in a VPN. So let me break down each service service individually to help you make a more informed decision. First up, we have ExpressVPN, which is overall the best pick as it came first in most major categories like speed, security, and privacy. Now, in terms of reliability, ExpressVPN has proven its commitment to protecting user data several times by conducting many audits over the years. On top of going through a real-life stress test where the Turkish government sees one of its servers in an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing that could be linked to any specific user. Now, other than that, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, allowing you to access almost any content from all around the world. But what's so impressive about these servers is their consistency and reliability. Whether I'm streaming, gaming, or torrenting, I've had great speeds and uninterrupted connections. And besides being super simple to use, my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is how responsive it is across all devices. Launching the app only takes a few seconds and connecting to any server takes a single second or less, which isn't something that I can say about any other VPN. And so if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable VPN out there, ExpressVPN is your go-to. Next up, we have NordVPN, which offers the most value for money out of the three options. It's got some bonus features that make it a little bit more than just a simple VPN. Such features include threat protection, which blocks ads and malware-ridden websites, and also protects your device from harmful files. And in terms of speeds, NordVPN actually rivals ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to gaming and overall performance. Although it's got over 6,000 servers in 61 countries, so 44 less countries, which means access to less content than Express. But more servers will mean that the user base is more widely spread across the servers, so basically more room for everyone to use. And another thing I really liked about NordVPN is its intuitive user interface, which has a huge map of all of its servers, allowing you to pick and choose the closest server to you with a couple of clicks. And when it comes to device limits, NordVPN allows you to protect up to six devices with one subscription. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget VPN on this list. Because unlike ExpressVPN and NordVPN, Surfshark allows you to protect an unlimited number of devices under one subscription, which is great for households and businesses. 
Now, it might not be as fast as these two, but it offers the essential VPN features on top of some bonus ones, like an ad blocker, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful in restrictive countries. Not only that, but it offers a huge server list of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which gives it a lot of value. And so if you're looking for the best budget VPN that allows unlimited simultaneous connections on top of having the core features of a VPN, Surfshark is your go-to. So to sum it up, if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable service with arguably the best privacy policy out there, ExpressVPN is easily your go-to option. NordVPN is going to be the one to get if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers bonus features while maintaining great performance and security for a reasonable price. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is the best budget VPN as it allows for unlimited connections and it offers the core features of a premium VPN at the cheapest possible cost. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Now also, just out of curiosity, I actually spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people, they end up spending more money on the monthly renewals than they would have with a yearly plan. And that's because the typical pattern is that, you know, people renew monthly thinking they don't need it long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more more money than they would have gone with the year plan, especially with the discount code we provided down below. So ultimately, if you know that you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, you should definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance that you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the year plan. And if you change your mind or realize you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cyber security. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.